Here I am with my foot pump to do my tubeless on my motorcycles. It does high pressure. It claims it will go up to 160 PSI. I won't even try to say the name of this brand. Now they make good pumps, but their fittings on the end are horrible. I also have the high pressure portable pump that I carry in my flight vest. I will keep this end on it, but that's how you fill it up, which is kind of annoying because you have to route this in, you know, through your spokes pretty straight because the hose is straight. This is on the end like so. It screws in and you have to then thread it onto your Schrader valve, which inside here, which you probably can't see, it gets wore out after a while just from threading it on, threading it off, threading it on, threading it off. It just it breaks down, it gets wore out, it doesn't seal good. There's two O-rings in here. You can take this apart with a Torx bit. It's a small one. I've taken this apart. There's an O-ring on this side, a spring, and an O-ring on this side. And plus, you know, O-ring down in there, O-ring there. There's O-rings everywhere. So potential for leaks, especially high pressure. Now what's nice about this fitting is you can adjust the pressure by pushing that in. Potential leak though, I took this apart, I put some food quality grease on it, which means it's not petroleum based. Figured that would be good. I haven't tried it since I've done that. Um, I figured I would order this guy. More of a standard type bike filtration head for your pump. And so they make one, it was like 10 bucks plus tax. Long story there, typical Amazon. It got lost in the mail. They didn't even show it showing up. So not like it went to another address and said it was showed up. So it was easy to request a refund. But instead of just sending me another unit or having that as an option, it said that was not an option. And it, they went ahead, credited me the money, which is good. But then when I went to order this, of course, it was like 70 cents more, even though it was from the same place. Totally ridiculous pricing on Amazon when they change stuff like that. Just send me the same unit for the same price. But instead of doing that, they make me pay slightly more. I mean, we're only talking cents. But what if it was a bigger part and now it's $20, $30? I already know what they would say in chat. Our prices are always changing, sir. Well, it's not my fault you, you uh, package got lost, whether it was due to their packaging or the UPS or your postal service or whoever it was sent by, it just never showed up. So not really my problem. But anyways, I got it. This is what it looks like. It has this end right here. So basically, you, it's plastic here, metal lever, which is kind of makes me wonder about this breaking. But you push the hose on, and then this, this goes on like that, threads. And when you thread it on, it's going to make the hose get tighter against the, that prong and seal it. Now, the problem is I upgraded the hose on this pump, floor pump, already. So, unlike the old one where it just unscrewed off, this one is uh, crimped on. So, I got some hose cutters right there. WD-40 for lube. And I'm going to take a huge chance here. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to cut it back here. That way, if I have to go to the auto parts store or hardware store and find, you know, a double prong fitting to put this hose back together with that end, then I, I can do that. You know, obviously, a couple of hose clamps around there and fix this bad boy back up. I don't think I want to order another hose. I, don't, I think it was like 20 bucks. I forget that solved the issue of the end of this leaking because they changed the design. They obviously knew their design was faulty, but the other design was also removable. That brass fitting, it was like a, a collar here, a brass fitting, and it had an Allen in the end. And you put an Allen in, you turned it, it came out, everything slid off. And yeah, that's how that worked, but then they updated it. This company just needs to get better with making ends. 
And some people say this works, some say it will stop working, some say whatever. So I have not much to lose, otherwise I can just keep ordering these. They're like 13 bucks each plus tax, probably $14. I could order two new one of these, but and, and these have lasted pretty long, even though I use them quite a bit. It's just the point that it, it, an end should just last. It should just work. I don't know what the big deal is. Come on, guys. You can do better. You make these high-priced pumps. It wasn't like these were cheap. I did buy them at a bike store, so hence I probably pay more than I should have. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's cut that bad boy. And you might be asking, why am I cutting so far? Well, if I have to repair it, then it gives me room, right? It gives me room to repair. Well, do I want to cut that far? Maybe a little closer. Okay, there we go. Cut that end off. It's nice to have something that actually cuts hoses. See how they're curved or wire. Now, put that guy on, and that does fit into there. There you go. Take a little WD-40. And all that does is lube it up. Lube that prong up. Or silicone works too. And just slide it on. Well, that slid on. Some reviews were like they fought with it. But maybe they didn't know. Lube it up. Um, I worked in the propane industry, running the father-in-law's propane business. So we used a lot of WD-40 and silicone to put hoses together. And there we go. That goes on just like that. And that would tighten it onto whatever type you, you use. And there we have it. Well, that actually worked. I was surprised. The downside to this is now when I wrap it over the handle, you know, it's not going to reach all the way down to hook in to the little cleat there, which would hold the end of this. But that's okay. I'll take, I'll put this to the side. Um, I, I still might order an, an extra newer one for the hand pump. I don't use the hand pump much. To try it out, I guess we should fill something up. I guess I will get something to try out and we'll do it in here so better lighting. I actually have my daughter's soccer ball that needs air. She was asking the other day. So we'll try to uh, to do this. So push that in there. Flip that, that should tighten it. Take it off the handle. Push it in. Okay, what am I? It's not, I see, it doesn't have an end on it to push. So this one's closed and this one's naturally open. Well, that stinks. It doesn't go in deep enough to press, then you're not gonna get air out of there. Well, that stinks. And to show you, to show you how this guy works while I'm doing it, here we'll show you. So you unscrew the end. It's a little tedious trying to you know, spin it. But this is a backup pump. You carry this when you have tubeless or even not tubeless to pump up your tire. It's lightweight, it's aluminum. See this one you thread in. Okay, now we'll try it. And that one is pumping it up. And it has a little flip out foot thing. It's a well thought out pump and being Aluminum, it's lightweight. It's just, they're not good at designing their ends. And the gauge is in their thing. You can't trust this gauge at all. There we go. 
ball is pumped up. And then to take the end off, see this is where it's kind of annoying when you're trying to do this whole thing on a bike. And then putting this away, don't wrap it around the top there. Kind of two hands, get it started. Thread it. It's on. Then, and then you can pull it around the top. There you go. That goes in my climb arsenal vest in one of the sides, or the OGO flight vest when I ran that. Fits nicely. So I'm a little disappointed with this. This obviously doesn't work as with these, so it's not really a useful pump. Maybe you can buy this type of thing or an adapter to go from uh, Schrader to, no, from Presta to Schrader. We'll see. I mean, it would be nice that it would work, but I guess to get the air out of here first, that has to be pressed in, has to be pressed in. So you have to have a pretty long valve stem to push that all the way on. So let's go to the dark garage and try that out. We will move over to the XR650R, which I haven't ridden in months. And this has tubeless. We will give this a whirl. And this one, I have a high pressure cap on it. These caps are nicer. Get the good ones. They have a seal in it. So if you get a valve core leak, it doesn't matter. Take that, push it on. Well, at least that one has air. But it's down, it's been forever. Okay, so pop it. That's what I always hate about these. You have to close it and yank it fast as possible. Or that other one I start twisting and it closes pretty quick. I have slime, so let's try the low low pressure side. We know there is no air. So push it on all the way. Go like that. Now closing trying to Yank it off. <laughs> it's kind of hard. That's why I never liked that, that system. And there we go. The lens pump. This end works kind of a pain. Screw one, it's different. Easier to get this on, harder to take it off. So the pressure might be slightly, you might want to go slightly higher. As you're pulling it off, you're going to leak some out. If you're so that sensitive to pressure, uh, obviously I need to work on the beta and put a new tubeless high pressure bladder in. Well, that stinks. Thanks guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Have a good one. Bye.